they call kili larwan. That is the root of the reeds. So this is the reeds and the root of that. And you know, in dry season, this is in the bottom. To find this, they have to go five to six kilometers that way. It, it floats in wet season, he said, because the level of the lake rises. So January, February. The blocks are very big when this floats. But to bring here, not easy, so they have to cut in smaller blocks, like 5 meters wide to 10 to 15 meters long. So still big blocks. Huh? His grandparents use sticks to cut the blocks. It was very hard work, so they chew lots of coca leaves to get energy and alcohol because the water is cold but once you drink alcohol less you feel less mm -hmm. but now they don't use any sticks they use this now no more coca leaves they drink coca-cola <laughs> and chewing gum no more coca leaves <laughs> Then they have to get sticks from the mainland. And each stick, hammer in each of these blocks, it depends how big is that. It could be like three to four in each of these. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Years ago, there was no any nylon, so they used this thing. You see, this is not nylon. This is made from the grass, which grows on the hills. But now, they buy nylon, and with that, they tie together. You see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One block. Mm -hmm. and they live for a few months like that, and the root is growing. So, in a few months later, all these blocks grow together. One block. And then they go to the roots. Mm -hmm. They go to the roots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When they go to cut the reeds, cannot do right here. It will get rot and no more reeds growing. So they have to do here. Long stick with a knife. And then many layers of reeds on. The first week up like that. In the second week, cross. It's like one meter thick, the layers of reeds. Compact as in your patakha, and at a path, football, bolly. And then they need to compact the island, you see? So they play football, <laughs> volleyball. Because they jump a lot, you know? Well, compact is not the way. Utataki. Utataki mas totora. Utana kunkata pasma mas totora. And in the areas where they build houses, they add extra layers of its own to keep dry the bottom of the house. You could see all these houses with the bed height. And then, 
a Chila Hanutapa, su tipa Hach Uglia, Hayupach Ursataki aquí, cocina utilizando. Uglia, that is how they call the old shape house. Now used as kitchen in wet season. Only in wet season. Chaki Uta, Macha Uta, modern Uta, Presidente Uta, That's like the president's house because it's very modern house. In dry season, they have different things for preparing their meals, which is this one, the clay oven. You see right there. Amelia, Presidente Warmipa. Comes the president and then the first lady. The families. Acá aquí, taxi, human acá taxi ufea aquí, acá acá taxi ha diferentes si para para chayuar o caunar o recolectar huevo, algunas veces juegan acá para para aquí escuelar o y también enamora si no te acuerdas aquí. This is a taxi. They use that for hunting. When they go to hunt, they go on this boat because it's very small, almost like a kayak. When they go to collect the egg, as well. Go to the schools, and this one. And single boys want to have a girlfriend, they use this too. So this is a romantic boat. Agasti, su tipa humana caner, modernidad en los uros, Mercedes Benz uros. That's Mercedes Benz. Humana cataki. Basia ni humana cataki. Now they offer to the visitors, you know, they organize a small boat ride for 20, 25 minutes without motor and sometimes they let you to row the boat. So after our free time, if some of you want to go on the route boat,